And, and as it happens, it's part of the sport. But I want to ask you this. So you fought Benavides. You fought Plants. Mm -hmm. David said this week that the way your fight with him ended, that's, that's better for David because now it will increase their fight. If they do end up sharing the ring, what do you think, Anthony? Who do you like? Uh, both, both of my good fighters. I think David uh, brings a little bit more to the table. Uh, but he, at, at the end of the day, I think sometime David have a problem with boxers, uh, like people that move and uh, elusive. But I think David hands are is pretty fast, and he got a little snap on his punches. And I think that'll be a factor that beats Caleb. But it'll be a hell of a fight. I, I don't think he stops Caleb, uh, but I think it it'll be a. Uh, a one-sided fight because he's so fast and elusive now, uh, you, with his hand speed. So it sounds like you're favoring David in that. But let's go back to your fight with Hernandez. You did that bolo knockout where you landed it. I'm sure your phone blew up and I'm sure everybody's checking in on you. What happens when Anthony Durrell doesn't win? It doesn't happen very often. It only happened three times your whole career. Do people still check in on you or do people just like, uh, we don't know if like to call him or not? Yeah, they, I think they get scared to call me. Uh, honestly, but like I say, it's like back then I'd be pissed off. Like I'll be, but I'm a grown man. Like I can't get mad off stuff like that, man. It's like I say, it's still entertainment. We're getting paid to entertain people. This is not my real life. This is entertainment. Correct. Re regardless of how anybody put it right now, I'm living my life. No. This is what I'm a go, uh, on doing. Boxing was just a few years. This is the my rest of my life eternity. What am I what am I gonna do from here that matters? Not only that, but but I always tell people and they don't know they don't know a lot of stuff about you. Hey, you're very smart in business. You're one of the smartest fighters I know when it comes to financials. Like I even told you once, I want you to educate young champions how to spend money because yeah. you're really good. The other thing is you do a lot in the community. You build community centers. You're, these are things that you do it because you love it. You're not doing this like, hey, look at me, take a selfie. Yeah, for so, sure. No, I don't. I, and I don't like when people. I like. I, I had one of my people, you know, I was working with, where I hired to do, you know, certain things. But she wanted me to take pictures of me giving. I said that just don't seem genuine to me. That's not me. Like if I do something, I just want to do it. It don't need to be on camera. Like I don't care about it being on camera. I just want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Just to to give back you know that and that's the thing man if i can make one person smile throughout the day man i've done my deed for the day that kobe Bryant used to do that he used to go help the homeless in la you won't see a video you won't see a picture of that he did it because yeah, he wanted you to don't need to yeah and and he did it because he wanted to help the homeless there's a very big problem in la with the homeless if loma wins his fight this weekend on the 29th then it looks like he and haney will fight what do you think i got Devin haney why just young uh I don't know, I can't say more like fast or anything because Loma, Loma is there, but Loma is getting to that age where, you know, the age will beat you. And not, and I mean, that's it. Like, age will beat you before anything. But, yeah, no, they say father time, time is undefeated, but, but I went to see him in the gym. I went to watch him this week. He looked phenomenal. He looked injury free, explosive, fast. He was doing shadow boxing with weights and crazy speed. Oh, I believe it, and, and, and Loma is a hell, a hell of a fighter. I think it's David Haney's time, man. Honestly. Yeah, definitely. And then, um, so what is next for you? I, did you announce your retirement, or did I read that somewhere? Uh, I I'm, mean, I'm leaning towards that. Uh, just because I'm I'm 38, man. What's left for me to do here? I, I proved everything I, I I needed to prove in boxing, man. I need to move on to fight or something else. But like, I, I, I'm still. Weighing my options, man, I want to still take a, a, a little bit more time and get my decision. I don't want to rush into it, especially with this, man, because once boxing is gone, it's gone. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, no, that's true, but but um, you have to also look at everything. And listen, it's in the end of the day, it's your decision, decision, it's your life. I mean, like you said, there's not much left for you to do in this sport. And and it's a sport for young people, unless you're a heavyweight. I think only heavyweights could go in their in their later age. Yeah, because I, I, you know, you can't keep hanging with these young people. They, they, they got energy that ain't, ain't running out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and what do you think about Demetrius Andre? What do you think he does next, Boo Boo? I mean, he good man. He just gotta get fights, man. And we all seen it. If he can get some fights, 
And since he moved up to 68, man, it, I think it'll be, I think he'll be good, but he's got to fight. Nobody want to fight him. I don't understand why. Uh, is he the most avoided guy in boxing right now? With his style, I would say yes. 